Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Totera. Don't disturb me, Norman. I'm on a case. I'm on a mystery. A mystery of stolen stuff that is very sus. Oh. Oh. Um. What, what, what's stolen? Someone stole my early tickets to see the new movie. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good at all. Nope. What movie were you watching? Godzilla vs. Kong. Ah, that movie. I seen it. It's fun. Yeah, I tried to get some early tickets and now they're stolen. Oh no, that's not good. You know, that movie was a lot of fun. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> uh, yes, but anywho, in today's episode review, we are going to review the My Little Pony, Ponyville Mystery Comics, issue number one. What are Ponyville Mysteries? So, uh, according to the IMD, sorry, not IMDb, but to the wiki page, the My Little Pony Ponyville Mystery is a limited run Hasbro licensed series of full color comics by IDW Publishing. Um, replacing the My Little Pony Legends of Magic comic series. It is a continuation slash compilation series of the chapter book series of the same name. And it centers on the Cutie Mark Crusaders as they solve mystery around Ponyville. Issue 5 was released as the last issue in this series with My Little Pony Nightmare Nights taking its place. So basically, we jump a bit. One thing to... Okay. So, anywho... In this issue, the Kirima Crusaders help Nurse Red Heart figure out who is stealing supplies from the Ponyville Hospital. So this is kind of interesting. So, Tara, uh, let's go for first impressions. What do you think? It was actually pretty good. I liked where it was going. I liked the mystery. I like how something they thought was one thing and then turned out to be the other. You know, that little twist thing. Something I wasn't expecting to happen. I always thought, like, while I was going through the comics, I thought, oh, maybe it's this person. Or maybe it's this person. All of a sudden, I was like, nope, it was this all along. It's like, wow, okay. Then wasn't expecting that. Yep, yep. They, they, jumped, they jumped the gun for a bit and then like, oh, no. Uh, as for me... This comic was interesting. It was a really first. It was really a uh, good first start because um, they were kind of setting the girls up as uh, doing stuff like uh, the CMCs. I, I I don't think they have the cutie marks yet, do they? No, they do. They do. Oh yeah, yeah. they do. Okay. So anyway, um, the cutie mark crusaders, they're still on their quest to you know try to f- help people out. That's their whole shindig. So they start off the comic helping out in the hospital and then moving on to uh, solving mysteries and whatnot. So that's all good. But anywho, let's not go into spoilers just yet because, well, we have to go through the whole thing. So anyway, if you have not read this comic yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So we start off the comic with our heroes, the CMCs. Wheeling around ponies who are injured. Apple Bloom commenting that <clears throat> uh, volunteering here will still helping ponies and earning a Philly Scout community service badge. So they're in the Philly Scout. I don't remember them doing that in the proper show canon. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, um, yeah, it seems that uh, they're wheeling around and then suddenly. There's a shriek. It seems that Miss uh, Nurse Redheart is being called to go and uh, check what's up. So with that, the CMCs are curious. So they wheel their uh, charges to their room and go to the supply closet. So it seems that somebody has been... Uh, breaking into the supply closet and been stealing stuff. So this has happened uh, before and it makes that two times this week. So it seems that, yeah, um, things are strange. Somebody's stealing supplies and that's not great. And it seems that Nurse Redheart is being 
blamed for not doing her work properly. So, but this is all. <laughs> when this is all said, the CMCs are eavesdropping, and somehow there's a janitor or custodian that's, um, well, scolding them for eavesdropping. <clears throat> so after that, the CMCs go on their merry way and try to comfort Miss or No Straight Heart, saying that they can help to and that's right, they can help and see who is responsible for the problem. And I'm gonna pause here. Tara, what do you think? Well, not really much to say right now. I mean, they go. They do. I like how they do cut right to the chase, where it's like, oh, there's a mystery already at the beginning. They don't wait until the halfway mark and then rush it. They just get right to it, so that way you know they get more time uh, setting up the um, the mystery. And we already got like two suspects, I guess you could say, with the mayor, uh, not mayor, uh, nurse Nightingale and the Nightingale, uh huh, and the janitor. And it's like, okay, you know, maybe she's maybe. Uh, this is what people get thinking. It's like even me. I thought, oh, maybe this, maybe this one's making Nurse Redheart look bad, so that way she could get rid of her. And maybe the janitor, he's, uh, I don't know, he he's just very sus. Yes, but I do, I do like the one pony's expression on the wheelchair after Nurse Redheart uh, goes by. He's like looking at, looking at us. I guess you could say the audience. He's looking at us, going. Why the hell did you scream like that? That scared the crap out of me. Wait, where? Which one? On um, page five. Page five. Give me a second. Like, did really? Yeah. After Nurse Redheart uh, goes by them, that's the one oh, unicorn in the wheelchair. That one. Yeah, not so loud. This. Yeah. Uh, this here says hospital. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who's. Uh, who is that pony commenting on? Like. The group? I, I guess so. <laughs> oh no, you're on page 8. I'm talking about like after the shriek has gone off at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Like, and this is where Miss or Nurse Red Heart is crying and sobbing. Yeah. So yeah, there, there, there's, <laughs> there's something fascinating to check out too. So, uh, anything more to add? No, not really. Just again, just mostly a setup and how uh, the CMC, they're always there to jump into action to help people out. Yeah, great on them. But anywho, the, if that, I'm going to carry on. So the CMCs start doing some investigation work and whatnot and checking out stuff. So uh, the CMC just asks what's, what's been stolen. Uh, was it any medicine and whatnot? And no, the straight heart just says um, things that were stolen were bandages, towels, and cotton. And... Um, those about it and the girls just noticed some few things like um no medicine was stolen uh all most of the things were kind of soft things and then uh sweetie bell asked if the pillow used down pillows uh with feathers and nurse red Hut just mentions that no we no we don't because uh Ponies are uh, some some ponies are allergic to them, so they decide to ask about the custodian. Uh, what was his name? Uh, I'm looking for the name as well. Uh, this this oh, wow, this temper. This oh, yeah. temper. D- this temper. Oh, this temper. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so they mentioned only three people have keys to the storeroom and that's nurse is it nurse Richard? does she has access yeah she has access all right so uh it's her nightingale and distemper so they are the only three i think that has access to the uh what you call this supply closet so they accuse or uh, suspect that this temper might be the one that's stealing. And Miss Nursery Heart says, Oh no, he that's that's not possible. He's been in the hospital for a very long time. He he wouldn't he would never risk his job by stealing. That that doesn't make any sense. So with that, the Nursery Heart gets called 
from on the intercom and the CMC decide to shadow over this temper because when you have a janitor like that who's all grumpy and whatnot, he might be a suspect. So they shadow him over and this temper just says like, oh no man, like those nosy feelies have me all paranoid. Uh, can get can barely get my work done and whatnot. So while he's doing his job, changing the sheets, doing the laundry and whatnot, uh, there's a feely who has her bandages loose and says it's bleeding now, and that's eerie to see. But I don't think so. There's any blood stains on the comic, so no, you don't really good. see any blood stains. But just at least hearing the word bleeding. In the My Little Pony universe, it's a bit strange to see slash hear. And also grim. But at the same time, too, it just, this could just be her pony head overreacting. Yeah. Well, oh, man, she's cute. <laughs> but anywho, um, this temper here says, uh, let me take a look-see. Oh, oh, he has some extra bandages and it's not that bad. So here, here's the part where... Some ponies might, <laughs> some ponies, some people might just uh, f- see that, oh, it's him because he has extra bandages. Oh, he, he's the guy responsible for this. Ah. But at the same time too, would someone who is stealing be this kind? So, <clears throat> the CMC kind of uh, point the finger and, or <laughs> point the hoof in this case, uh, at this temper and having him get suspended. So with that, they considered the case closed. And in the next day, Nurse Redheart goes to Carousel Boutique and tells the girl that it happened again. And it seems that this temper was not the culprit. And now Nurse Redheart is suspended. And Miss Miss Nightingale is, uh, well, accusing the CMCs or suspecting the CMCs and Nurse Redheart. So, oh no, this is terrible. This is terrible. And yeah, they 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 can't really do much for now. So, the CMCs just help with. <laughs> they do their original task, which was to send some. Uh, what you call this um, uh, unused fabrics and donating them to Fluttershy Sanctuary. So it seems that the birds are what you call this in their nesting season and whatnot. And there are a lot of birds there flying and chirping and whatnot and making nests. And that's when it hit Sweetie Bell. She finally solved the case and asked the CMCs to go to the hospital and, well, kind of finish the mystery. And it seems that Sweetie Belle is the only logical one here because she breaks down everything for the others. And that is, well, you know what? I'm going to pause here because I think I might be going too fast. So, Tara, what do you think? Well, I do like how uh, not all of them agree that um, uh, I forget the janitor's name. A distemper. Yes, not because uh, uh, sorry, I'm having a little brain fight. <laughs> yeah, um, Scootaloo and Sweetie, but uh, no, Scootaloo and Apple Bloom, they jump to the conclusions thinking it's him, and the whole time Sweetie Bell's like, you know, giving him the benefit of the doubt, like, or maybe he's just trying to do his job, or we're making it too hard for him and then they're both like nope we're definitely sh- sure it's him right and the whole time sweetie bell's like i guess it's him and then when apple Bloom's like who's with me sweetie bell's like me but with a question mark at the end and then you think oh maybe it is him and then plot twist it is not him the culprit is still out there and then it's once you see what fluttershy said and it's like oh that makes sense and even sweetie bloom catches on to that and now we're soon finding out who the culprit is true that and the way that she asked the girls, did you hear what Fluttershy said? Uh, Applebloom just says, no, not really, because there was a bunch of birds chirping. 
And she just says, yes, but what else? They like old scrap of fabrics and other soft things. And that's the thing that was stolen, mostly some bandages, gauze and some cotton and whatnot. Then there is a window near the inside the supply closet. But it's too small for any pegasi to get in. But it's just the right size for birds. So Apple Bloom, sorry, no, uh, Sweetie Belle just points out and solves the mystery for the other two. So now it comes to the part where the CMC uh, face miss or nurse uh, Nightingale and explain everything to them. But some of them are kind of salty, not wanting to meet with the CMCs because they cost them their jobs. So they somehow got them all into Twilight's balloon and fly over the sanctuary and show the real reason why the supply closet got raided. And it's birds! The birds are making nests with the, what you might call this, uh, supplies and whatnot. And with that, um, Miss Nightingale here apologizes for jumping the gun and blaming uh, Nurse Redheart and Distemper. And at the same time too, uh, Night Miss Nightingale tells Distemper that you really shouldn't be treating our... Uh, patients because you're kind of a custodian and uh, you don't have any proper training but Miss Nightingale here suggests that okay why not we look into enrolling you into a nursing school and this temple really likes that so the CMC is kind of apologize to him and this temple begrudgingly accepts the apology and tells them not to uh, not to, it, don't let it happen again and stuff. And with that, uh, the CMCs chuck it down to a very huge success. But they ain't going to go to hospital for a while now. And all of them decide that, hey, you know what this means? We can uh, officially start our Cutie Mark Crusader Super Sluffer Clubhouse. Yay! And just as they finally cemented their group name for the week we see um oh man what's his name again <laughs> um lebowski B B lebowski yes we see lebowski and his friend uh, barge in saying that they got a crazy mystery for them to solve and it's to be continued dun, dun, dun. oh yes and with that uh comic ends until the next time. So, Tara, what do you think? Well, like I said, I really, I really like how this comic went. It, so it's, uh, it took, it got to the setup, it got to the setup very quickly, and then you know the C the CMC they always want to help people out, <clears throat> and then they think you know it's one person, and you think oh okay then. Yeah, it's probably this person, and then it's gonna be a while to fix it or something like happened. And all of a sudden, no, it's not this person. And this, these, this other one, Nurse Redheart, she got suspended. How are they gonna get into the hospital now? How are they gonna solve the mystery? And then, uh, if we figure out it's the birds, and it's like, oh wow, what a twist! You, I, and it's like you think, you know, maybe it was Nurse Nightingale or De this Temper, but nope, it was the birds all along. And it was a very yep. good twist, and I like how it ended. And it's not that out of the blue kind of thing because if you take a look see at the earlier pages where they were investigating the crime scenes, they were feathers, like bird feathers over there, like blue feathers. And yeah. it wasn't like uh, it, it wasn't like the mystery was solved like out of the blue of nowhere, like, oh, this is just pulling stuff out of their butts. But no, it was uh, set up pretty properly because uh, even what Sweetie Belle asked, like, wait, do the hospital pillows use feathers? And yeah, because uh, so Sweetie Belle noticed feathers and asked if feathers were used. So no. And yeah, it's one of those things that the other two girls were kind of jumping the gun, wanting to uh, solve the mystery as fast as possible. Like, uh. oh, but it's, it's cool, it's cool. But anyway, Tara, what are we going to do for next week's episode? Well, next week we're going to be doing more Pony Life with Ponies of the Moment. 
and one click wonder. So yeah, we got, we got to wait and see what's that all about. Yep. But anywho, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can catch us at dmbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at NBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortail1324. Or if they just do a Google search, I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome. Go check them out, guys. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay, <laughs> to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I have been Tordera. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Bye-bye. So, have you ever solved a mystery before? Nope. And that that sounds like an amazing thing to do. Like, okay, how how do I solve this problem? Or, oh, there's a problem over there. I wonder if I can solve it. And usually we just make things worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very fortunate for my case. But hey, um, if we get to solve a mystery, that would be good. There's this one mystery that I'm still trying to solve. How was that? The um, your missing tickets. Like I'm just trying to think. Like how could your missing tickets could be gone? I don't know. That's what's annoying, and it's also a mystery. <laughs> yeah, I know. But Godzilla was awesome. Another mystery that is waiting to be solved is the vaccine cure for this pandemic. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, no no. The mystery is when are we gonna get it? <laughs> yes. There we go. Yep. Anyway, bye bye. Bye.